Hello. Pardon my mood lighting situation going on right now. And my lack of an actual craft mat on my desk. <laughs> uh, it is my first night in my new craft room. I don't have terribly long to hang out tonight because I do have to go back to our old house and try to get things unpacked. Lord have mercy. Sorry if you can hear my children. They're being a little nuts. Um, upside and downside of my new craft room is that it's on the same floor as the children. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't have my computer next to me. I'm going to run and grab my iPad really quick. Hold on one second. Uh, I will be right back. Hold on. All right, the good news is I only had to run right down the hallway uh, and I'm just grabbing iPad so that I can see your comments because my computer is across on the other side of the room currently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my iPad off to the side over here, turn down the volume, whoops, and I should be able to see your comments. Possibly on a delay, but that's okay. Sorry, I'm so out of breath. I'm apparently really out of shape, and running down to the other end of the hallway was taxing. <laughs> uh, hey, Tina. Hey, Heidi. Hey, Amanda. Hey, B. Hey, Deborah. Oh, Fatima. I feel like it's been a million years since I've seen you. Hello. Uh, hi, Diane. Hi, Mrs. Whitlock. Riley said, I'm big today. <laughs> um, okay, so what I thought we would do, and um, if you guys weren't here when I apologize for this already, sorry about my mood lighting. <laughs> um, I don't have an overhead light currently because we the, the ceiling fan that was in here was super gross, like super gross. And it was like so close to the slanty ceiling that it was actually damaging the wall when the fan blades would move. So we had to take that out <laughs> and now I don't have a light. I don't have a fan. I don't have anything above head right now. Um, and so I had to like move a lamp over and get my alt light and try to um, give myself a little bit more lighting. So um, I'm experimenting. Uh, my lighting will improve, I promise. <laughs> hey, Georgia. Oh, Fatima, that sounds great. It's good to take some time away and recharge sometimes. Um, okay, so what I thought we would do tonight, I don't have a ton of time, but I wanted to do some actual crafting. However, I only have a very small amount of supplies because all my stuff is still packed. I haven't unpacked any of my stuff up here because we are in crazy construction mode with the rest of our house. Um, however, if you guys saw my video from earlier today, I have received the new Pink and Main subscription box for the month of June. And um, I wanted to play around with it because I haven't gotten to actually use it. All I did was the unboxing so far. So I'm really excited about that. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this out of the package and see what we can make with it. Um, if you're interested in seeing everything that comes in it and kind of some information about it, you can check out my unboxing video that I did. Um, I just put it out earlier today. Um, but I will give you at least kind of a peek at what comes in it. So we've got some card stocks and coordinating colors. The theme is um, the shore. So this is like all nautical themed stuff. So you get your envelopes, you've got an embossing folder, this super cute stamp set. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> um, I love these sentiments so much. Uh, so I'm gonna be super excited to um, craft with this. And then I really like this paper pack. It's got some really awesome nautical themed, like look how cute that is. Oh, it's adorable. I really like it. Look at that wood. How super cool is that? Um, I like all of these. You guys know I like a good wood grain. Love that bokeh pattern. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so this is an awesome paper pack. Um, also love this 
come sail away with me. This is actually the um, card that comes with it, but I really like that artwork. It's super duper cute. Hooray! <laughs> so there you've got your color palette down there. I know, isn't that blue wood grain super pretty? So cool. Um, you guys, also, I think I'm less than 150 subscribers away from 3,000. <gasps> How crazy is that? Um, I'm really, really excited because when it hits 3,000, then I get to do another giveaway. Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so I'm thinking, oh, you know, I thought these were glossy dots, but they're actually like faceted little gems. They're so pretty. Um, okay. Um, I do have an affiliate link with Pink and Main. I sure do. Um, so I put it in the other, um, the other video that I did earlier, but I think if you type in, let me see if it works if I do it. Hold on. Cause I forget if I put, um, whoops, hold on, uh, pink and I'm not sure if it needs the and sign, like the ampersand, or if it's the, um, if it's pink and main. I'm trying to see if it will, if the night bot will pick it up and give you the link. Theoretically. <laughs> we'll wait just a second and see. Oh yeah, there it is. Ha ha. I knew that bot was good for something. <laughs> um, okay, cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm just watching you guys um, comments over there on my iPad. So hopefully it's not too delayed um, and we can create something. Now this is going to be a little bit of an adventure because I don't have all of my craft supplies out or available. Um, so we, we may run into some issues where I want to make something, but I don't have quite what I need. <laughs> oh, it worked. I know that night bot has been a little temperamental lately. <laughs> I'm just happy he's showed up for work today. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So what we're going to do is pop out this stamp set. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Hmm. Um, let me see first if I have some black ink, because that would be useful. I at least have my cloth to clean up. Um, <laughs> you guys, this is going to be the craziest adventure we've ever had. Okay, I have my... Um, <laughs> I have my tape gun. Oh, I do. I have some black ink. Okay. I tried to pack um, my desk stuff all into one box, but you know, sometimes it proves a little difficult to do that. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Can I find... Oop, I have a paper trimmer. Uh, did I get the whole house unpacked? We Okay, we only just put... Uh, flooring into our dining room yesterday so <laughs> unpacking the whole house is like way on my low list of priorities because man oh I've got my misty you guys we have some some of the best tools I don't know if I have all the best tools but we have at least some now the question is do I have paper and I don't know that I do. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, well, here's the thing. This card kit comes with paper. I didn't really want to use it for this because, you know, it's really nice paper. So this paper that comes with it is called Ice Rink. It's like super white and it is really thick. Um, it's 110 pound, but it is, it's really sturdy. So... Um, I kind of wanted to save it because you guys know how I like to hoard things. <laughs> um, hey Tracy. Hey Floretta. Um, yes. So, love the ship in the bottle. Ship in the bottle. Lighthouse. Okay, so we've got, um, the ship in the bottle and the lighthouse. So, I think we'll try to make something with those. Ooh, it's so thick. I love, love this paper, it's so good. All right, so I'm just cutting it down to four and a quarter by five and a half just so I have some little um, card panels. Oh, you're so sweet. Sending you big, big hugs, Florida, that's so cool. Um, I'm excited when you guys are here. Oh, I love you all. <laughs> um, okay, Tana. Don't let any creepy bunnies get you down. 
Just saying. <laughs> okay, I had, ooh, California, that's cool. Um, oh my gosh, congratulations, Sue, that's okay. My videos have been a little bizarre lately because um, I, <laughs> I've been moving and all over the place, so uh, things have been a little hectic and a little crazy, but it's all good. Um, okay, so I want to do, what I wanted to do was use this as my background kind of and like maybe trim along some of the layers. I think that would be really cool. Um, oh look, Heidi, we are on the same page. <laughs> um, and so the thing is though, I don't know where any scissors are, like any scissors. <laughs> Um, I had three pairs of scissors in my little thing here. I look, I totally tore apart my um, paper pack. That's okay though. Um, there's also this one, which is really cool. That's like a water, it looks kind of watery. And then there's this one. Um, let's see, I thought there was another one that had like kind of a, there's a green one. Oh, here, this little guy. Oh no, that's green. I thought it was kind of tan, whoa. Um, okay. Well, that's okay for now. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out. So the only thing is, I don't think I have any scissors. I'm going to keep looking really quick for just a second because this container here that I have beside me has a lot of stuff from my desk. So like stuff that I was keeping out. So I've got like my Simon Hurley inks. I've got my foam tape because, you know, of course. <laughs> um, let's see. I've got my Tombow markers. Did you guys see my video that I just put out using the Tombow markers? Hey, Di. Um, did you guys see my video that I just put out using the Tombow jewel brush pens? I liked that one. I thought that was pretty fun. I'm using them for the watercolor card. Okay, I see... My heat tool, that's a good sign. Woo, I've got a heat tool. Um, I just dumped all my Tombos out though, that's not as cool. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm a hot mess. I'm so sorry. Um, I was just hoping that I could find some scissors, but I don't know that we're gonna be that lucky. Because basically I wanted to cut, um, Ugh, sorry. I wanted to cut the um, sand. Hmm. Mm. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, sand, yes. Um, okay, I've at least got water. Um, I have the one, it's not, um, it's kind of green. That one here, it's actually green. I mean, we could still use it, but it's green which is fine, but down on this side, it kind of looks more like sand. Um, we'll tear that one out too. I mean, I could tear it, but like, ugh, there's a tan one? I keep missing it then. I thought there was like a pink one. See, like that one, but it's like, it's green. Um, oh, then there's like the bokeh colored one. So there's that. That one's like pink. It's like pink. So there's pink and green of that particular pattern anyway. There's pink and green and then like a blue, <coughs> which we had. Yeah, blue, green, wood grain, pink. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Amber. It does kind of look tan. Yeah, there's like a pinky one, a green one, and a blue one. And I don't know. Um, you think, I'll pull out the pink one too. Then if you guys like that one, I will also pull that one out. So then we'll have all three of them. Oh, it looks like sand. Yeah, it's pink on my end, but it is it is like up here, they all kind of look more tan. So maybe we can just use the bottom part. The only thing is, I need some scissors, y'all. <laughs> um, because I don't know how I'm going to make that work without any scissors. Uh, hmm. I had some and then they got taken to be used for like things in the house. 
Mm. <sighs> huh. I could rip it, but I don't really like to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Amber. I hate that time of year. Can we just talk about that? I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like the tornadoes. I don't like any of that. Um, I don't have a knife either. If you guys didn't want, if you guys didn't mind waiting for a second, I could go run downstairs and get a little pair of scissors, but I didn't want to make you guys wait. Um, but it's like right down the stairs in my kitchen. There's a little pair of, um, there's a little pair of like, uh, Fisker scissors. Um, okay. So we've got this, we've got our Misty so we can stamp it out. Um, Georgia says go. Okay. If. You guys don't mind. Yes, waiting, no worries. Okay. Um, all right, let me get that set up then, and then I will go. We will talk amongst ourselves. Okay. All right, hang tight one second, and I will be right back. Don't time me or anything. <laughs> Okay, how'd I do? <laughs> There's two entrances to my craft room. So, um, I can go down the back stairs and it's like directly from my, it's like directly into the kitchen. <laughs> um, yes, this is the pink and main kit. Yep, it sure is. I am like sadly out of breath. You guys, that is so sad. Oh, I'm like really out of breath because I am apparently very out of shape. <laughs> um, yes, so this one comes out June 1st is when spots start opening for it. Hey, Stacy. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm that out of breath. That's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and it's a little hot in my room, you guys. We're going to have to figure out the air situation because it is a little toasty in here. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, look how good that's stamped, you guys. It's so cute. I love it. Um, No. Okay, so the kit shows that it's sold out, but that's not for this one. So this one I actually got before... Um, before this it's not available yet so um i got it to help promote it but um you guys can order it on june 1st so if you're not signed up for the monthly kit like the recurring subscription and you want to sign up oh i got it dirty up there you can sign up on uh june 1st i love this kit it's so cute so i just did an unboxing earlier today and i have the um the link in my other video, my unboxing video. But if you are interested in heading over there, you can type in um, exclamation point pink and main and it will give you a link if you wanna shop through my affiliate page. Um, but yeah, so that's that. All right, so we've got some scissors, we've got our papers and we're gonna try to figure it out. Weather's been so scary. Oh, that's true. It's There's been a lot, a lot of bad weather all over the place. That's crazy. Um, okay, let's figure out what we're going to do first. Um, I'm thinking... Because um, I can go ahead and color this. That'll be cool. And I have my Copics, but I also have my... Um, oh, if I have blenders... I might, I saw, now up to 2,000, oh, 2.8 people. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'm only like 150, like maybe, I think less than 150 now. hundred. I think I'm less than 150 people away from 3,000, <gasps> which is crazy. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that with the whole Save the Crafty YouTuber thing, maybe I'll get a few extra people and then I'll bump up over 3,000, but we'll see. <laughs> Hey Tiffany, I'm crafting mood lighting tonight. 
<laughs> um, I am in my new craft room, but I don't have any sort of good setup and I had to run an extension cord to even plug a light a, a lamp in um, for my desk. So we're making it work, whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do, are these the exact same pattern or are they mirrored? Hmm. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Okay. Oh, Stacy, that's so cool. I didn't know that. Ah, that's awesome. I really, really love the whole Save the Crafty YouTuber thing. I think it's so cool. Um, and Justine Hovey is the one who organizes it. And she, I mean, that's a crazy big job to take on all of these people and making it all work and come together. Um, so she rocks and this is the third one and I've done all three, which I think is really cool. So the cool thing is I'm going to save this for later. We can use it again on another card, like just flip it up like this. And then you've got like a cute little water bit. I'm always on when you need to cook dinner. And you know, what's funny, Tiffany is I'm actually late. <laughs> so bad timing, I guess. Um, okay. So what we're going to do, I think is put it kind of like right there and then I want to kind of layer this up because I think I'm going to cut this out possibly I don't know we'll see <laughs> um, and then we can have sand down at the bottom oh my gosh your kids are on summer vacation <laughs> Um, I thought that was crazy. So my son's last day of school was May 24th and I guess I thought that like, you know, kids went to school longer than that. Um, cause when I was in school, uh, we were in school till like mid June, but I think maybe it's just because he's in preschool that they just, they didn't want to have to worry about a new month and, um, like only charging people for partial months or something. I'm not really sure. Um, such a huge number of crafters in the Save the YouTube. Yes, it's awesome. I really, really like it. Okay, so I'm going to trim this down um, to fit a little bit better. Uh, obviously this way. It's <laughs> so that it will be like it'll make more sense. Um, but what I'm going to do, they go to school till June 7th. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, I hate to even use this paper, you guys. What I'm going to do is... Oh, you know what I should have done? Hold on. What I might do... I don't think I have any inks, though, you guys. <laughs> um, all right, let's, let's do... I need to do some ink blending, but I don't really have any of my inks. So... Um, this is rough when you don't have the stuff that you need. All right, let's try this one. So this is an E00, which is cotton pearl. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit to the edge here to give it kind of like a more finished look, sort of, so it doesn't just end. I find that when you're using patterned paper, um, it just, I feel like it needs a little something extra. I don't personally like just the plain line uh, that you get with pattern paper because it doesn't look finished to me, but it's just personal preference. That's just, that's just me. <laughs> um, and now I'm like taping this down to my craft mat. Good thing it's nonstick. Uh, okay, because I think, I think that'll help. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do just like a couple little ones here and there. I'm not going to go across all of it, but just enough to give it kind of a little bit of extra oomph. <laughs> Uh-oh, I marked in the middle of my blue. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yes, it is a spinning thing. Oh, okay, Tiffany. <laughs> Have fun. I mean, like, cooking dinner is fun. It's not really fun, but whatever. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, okay, so... What I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and just attach this bottom piece here. I didn't, um, I mean, I put glue on the bottom, but I guess I didn't really need to do that. <laughs> um, what? Okay. My spinning thing. Yes. So this is, I got it on Amazon and if you want to shop 
with me through Amazon, you can do that as well. I think it works like this. Hold on. Um, we'll see if that works. Um, but what you, it, it has like different compartments in it. Um, so see, it has like little wedges here. They don't come out or anything, but they just help to like, um, separate your stuff a little bit. But yeah, so I've got my Copic. This is all my Copics. That's all I have. Um, oh yeah. Okay. So you can go there. That's my, um, my little Amazon picks. It's basically like an influencer page. Um, if you go there and then click any of my links or whatever, you can shop with me through Amazon, which is nice. Um, but yes, I think this is on there so you can see the one that I got, but I really, really like it. And I actually usually have my scissors in this little hole in the middle. <laughs> um, yes, Copics are okay to stand up. You can store them vertically or horizontally. That's totally fine. But the Spectrum Noir markers need to be horizontal. Um, and that's per the company. I don't, I've never tried to store them any other way, so I'm not sure if it impacts them. However, I do know that when you buy the Spectrum Noir markers in the store, they are in a package that is hanging vertically. So like the packaging is made to hang on a shelf and they are vertical. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm up in the air about whether I want to try storing my Spectrum Noirs horizontally because I don't want to ruin them, but at the same time, it would be much easier if I could store them vertically. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use one of my, oh, my pretty, pretty paper. Oh, that's cool, Belinda. Yeah. I really, really like it. Um, that it's, it's really nice. Um, all right. I probably don't need all of this, but I'm just, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm being all sorts of crazy tonight because I'm feeling a little, maybe a color or two you don't use often. <laughs> um, let's see. I feel like because I don't have any of my supplies, I just feel really out of sorts. <laughs> like I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, Re. Uh, great minds. Yes, I already read that. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing because nothing is organized. Everything is just kind of like everywhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trim this little side bit off. Hopefully that works out okay. Whoa. All right. I've got some scraps. I can use those later, hopefully. I'm okay with this being whatever color at the top. I don't really care, but that looks kind of cool. Oh my gosh, Ree, I hope she's doing okay. I um, read that Copic should be horizontal, so I have those. Oh, yeah, so I actually asked, and I've heard from a lot of people that they have, and from the Copic teachers, um, like people who are certified to instruct on how to use Copics, they say that you can store them um, vertically and it doesn't matter because they're alcohol markers. That's what I keep hearing. And I don't know. I don't know if that's, I just don't know. <laughs> um, but you know, it is what it is. We, we kind of experiment with the Copics. I've had mine stored like this horizontal for over a year and they all work perfectly. Um, so if there was going to be a problem, I think that I would have noticed something already, but they all work perfectly fine. <laughs> um, she's doing okay. Oh, she just had major surgery. Wow. Re. Well, I'm sending positive thoughts her way. I hope that everything is okay. Um, I know that that can be really tough. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll color this guy up and then we will, um, plop him on there after we cut him out. I think that's going to work. I'm going to need to trim just a little bit off the edge here because I left a little bit of white on the edge there, but that's okay. <laughs> I think that this looks really cool. So, uh, alcohol should dissolve, reactivate anything in the tips if it dries out. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, okay, so let's do some coloring. I guess we can go ahead and use our Copics. That's all right, since that's what I have right here in front of me. I do have my Spectrum Noir somewhere nearby, but we will go ahead and use the Copics. 
Although this is going to be kind of an experiment because it's been a while since I've used my Copics, you guys. <laughs> I have been, um, re this is the pink and main. It's actually not available yet. It is their brand new subscription box for the month of June. So boxes will open up on June 1st for this one. Um, but it is called, the box is called The Shore. This stamp set's called Loves The Shore. Um, super cute. I've heard that too, but I store them upside down. Oh yeah, you don't need to, no, you don't need to store your distress inks upside down. Mine have been right side up for as long as I've had them and they're totally fine. <laughs> um, something about, I want to say Tim Holtz said that the ink was like suspended inside something. It was like a felt tip. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about this, but <laughs> um, from what I understand, you don't need to do that. That's all I know. And I haven't been doing it and mine are okay. So, oh yeah, you store yours on the side. That's cool. Love the little shells. Yeah, me too. Um, I think that this, this kit is so super cute. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little Copics. And now I can't color like this with my Spectrum Noirs. I do color with those differently. Um, but since I'm using my Copics, I'm going to default back to my old ways. <laughs> of um, coloring and it's kind of I don't know I feel like it, it's hard to go back and forth between using one medium and then you know going back and using a, a different medium I don't know um, so I am trying to kind of make my little flicked marks go up a little bit because I want to give um, I want to give it a little bit of shape sort of uh, Pink and Main has really nice stamps. Yes, they do. I really like Pink and Main. And Michelle, who is the owner, she is so, so sweet. I met her at Creativation, and she was just, she was so great. Um, you know, like you meet someone, and they're just the nicest, and it just makes you want to support them. That is how I feel about her. She was just so kind. I really liked her a lot. Um, and their stuff is adorable. I haven't gotten to work with as much of it as I would like to, so I definitely need to do a little bit more. Um, did I send that? Thank you. Aw, that's so cool. You guys are sending each other cards. I love that. Crafty friends are the best. Tim did say that, but I find with my blender sponges Velcro, it works better upside down. Yeah, that's the one problem that I do have is finding a good solution for the blender foam or whatever, because if you put it underneath, it, um, it stains whatever you're putting it on top of, <laughs> like it gets it inky, which is no fun. <laughs> um, and then... I don't know. It just seems it's kind of a, I don't know. <laughs> but some people don't feel the need to have a color, like a blender for every single color, but I'm not one of those people. So for me, I need that. <laughs> I definitely need a, um, a blender foam for every single color that I own, which is all of them. <laughs> Because why not, right? <laughs> Ooh, an ink pad storage product. Tell me more. Um, you can just send one right my way. <laughs> um, I'll totally promote it for you. Um, <laughs> um, I, uh, my husband is really handy. And so he, we've been talking for a long time about him <laughs> Amanda, <laughs> um, we've been talking for a long time about him building me like some sort of stamp storage something, um, but we just haven't gotten around to doing it yet because we've had so many other projects and whatever and you know, it just, that's a lot of work. It really is. All right, so I'm not really super worried about coloring in the lines over here because <laughs> Um, all of this is kind of gray, and that's all right. I'm not going crazy trying to make it all perfect blending. Hey, Chrissy. 
started collecting Nuvo. Oh, they're alcohol markers. That's cool. Um, I don't, I think, I don't even know if I have any of their alcohol markers. I've definitely used them. I used them at uh, Creativation this past year. Um, but it was before I really had tried experimenting much with the different kinds of alcohol markers. Like I only really knew how to use my Copics. And I will be honest, I was kind of a little bit of a Copic snob <laughs> in that I felt like, well, I already have a really good marker. I don't need to try anything else. So those ones are probably awful. And that's kind of like, I mean, I, I'm going to be totally honest. That's kind of where I was. Like, I just assumed that they were all bad. Um, and it's not fair to them because they're, I never even tried them. Oh, Sue, hopefully everything's okay. Um, what's it called? What's what called? Die? I think I might have missed something. Um, okay. So, I'm trying to think about what colors I want to make stuff. Because <laughs> I don't want it to all be, like, exactly the same color. But, you know, I want it to have a little bit of variation. However, you know, it is stone. So there's that. <laughs> On the Nuvo alcohol markers. Yeah, I've only tried them once, but it was before I really learned that you had to um, that you had to color differently with different types of markers. <laughs> I'm gonna try coloring this the way I color with my Spectrum Noirs and see what it's like. So with my Spectrum Noirs, I start with my lightest color and I color the whole thing in. I bet it will work. It's just that I never felt like I had to do that with Copics. Um, okay, so I color my whole thing in. Um, that's what I have, um, Heidi. I do my um, uh, my ink pad storage was in a like I made it out of foam core from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Um, and it took a really long time to make, to be honest, which is whatever, you know, it was worth it. It's, I've been storing them like that for forever. Um, but it is falling apart, which stinks. <laughs> it definitely hasn't held up. So there's that to consider. But I mean, given that it came from the Dollar Tree and I made it myself, it's pretty good. <laughs> I won't complain. Um, $5.99 for a pack of three. Oh yeah, for the Nuvo markers. Yeah, they're really inexpensive. That's true. <laughs> All right, so this is how I would normally color with my um, Spectrum Noirs. Only, I guess I probably at this point, I would have gone back and blended more, maybe. I feel like I probably would have. I probably would have gone back and blended more. So let's do that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Heidi. It was on my shelves back behind. Um, yeah, back behind. Okay. I actually think that looks pretty good. I never color like that with my Copics. But I could. It looks pretty good. I like that. All right, um, normally I would color these rocks gray. However, I think, I think I'm going to color them brown maybe instead. Um, is, is what a tin? Is this that I have my markers in dye? This thing here? Um, it is a, it's like a Lazy Susan spinning rack that I bought on Amazon. Um, if you type in exclamation point Amazon, it will take you to my little influencer page on Amazon and under my crafty storage page, it should have a link directly to it. If you want to check that out, um, like to the exact one that I use. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do, I want to kind of coordinate some of these colors together. So I think I actually want to use this pinky color for my top here because I don't want to introduce too many colors. And I also kind of want to um, play up that color a little bit so that it doesn't get lost or just feel like 
an accent, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, it is an accent, but you know what I mean. You guys understand crafting, you know what it's like. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I'm gonna use that. So this was E00, but I kinda wanna make it a little bit more coral. Yeah, so like some of it, I'm gonna add in um, some, a little bit of a darker sort of pink. And then I'll go back over that little bit here. I don't want to make it too crazy, but I do want to have a little bit of dimension there. I think I'm going to use, where is it? I have like an R22 maybe. This is going to be quite bright or dark depending on how you describe it comparatively. But if I just put it in a little bit of edge here and not get too crazy. Whoa, it's blobbing. Oh boy. Okay, so if you ever have this problem where your um, ink is like coming out in blobs, like it, the liquid is just like crazy oozing out, I find that this happens the most with reds uh, and pinks and purples. <laughs> um, those are the ones that I have trouble with the most. You just take the lid off of both sides and then it like evens out the ink so you don't keep having that problem. Hopefully that helps somebody. <laughs> Because I've definitely, um, I've definitely had projects ruined like that. So if you ever have an issue, I don't think that goes on this side. There we go. <laughs> um, if you ever have an issue, try that. Um, all right, so I'm going to go back over that. I did get a little bit more color than I wanted in the dark, but I think it actually looks pretty cool. Um, so it may be a happy accident. Um... Oh, Heidi, <laughs> I'm trying. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. And I knew, like, I felt bad. I was like, maybe I shouldn't go live just because I thought, you know, oh, my lighting is bad. They're not going to want to watch this. I don't have any supplies. It's going to be, like, a total hot mess. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't go live. <laughs> um, but I was like, you know what? I want to be able to say, like, I didn't miss a live. I kept going even though I was moving. I don't know. I wanted to keep it going. <laughs> um, okay, so for this one, I'm using E34. I really like this. I actually use this one a lot for skin tones, um, but it works great for neutrals and things in nature as well. Oh, thanks, Stacy. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, let's see. I wanna do some, okay, this marker is running out. So I do need, um, I need to get a refill for it, but that's okay. It'll be all right for this little itty bitty bit of coloring. <laughs> and I'm not too worried about going outside of the lines really because um, I will be cutting this out and I can also use a little bit of a white gel pen since this is not really a scene. Um, I can just use a gel pen um, and touch things up a little bit. E18 is usually my, mark my marker that I use with this. And I'm gonna add just that little bit of a shadow. And you know, you don't have to go crazy like trying to make things perfect. You'll find, okay, I, at least for me, I have found that I judge myself way harder than I judge anyone else, number one. And number two, when you look at something and you see like, wow, it looks so realistic. When you look closer, you will see that there are streaks, that there are lines that don't necessarily make sense when you explore it further. <laughs> um, but when you first look at it or you look at it as a glance, it looks great. It looks perfect. It looks flawless. It's just that it's an, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. <laughs> um, it, that's what coloring is all about really is making it look like something else, you know, like you're trying to give it the dimension. Yeah, totally. Um, it is a little higher, I think, than, than I'm used to, than I usually create that. <laughs> um, I want to do something about these windows cause they don't really look exactly like I wanted to. I really like the way the bottom looks. 
um, but I don't love the top as much. It's not as smooth. See, this This is the way that I color with my Spectrum Noirs down here at the bottom. And I should have done that with the top, it looks like, because it actually is a much smoother blend that way. Mm hmm. I'm gonna have to start coloring like that, I think, with both of them. It does take longer, so that's unfortunate. Because, <laughs> you know, I kind of feel like ain't nobody got time for that sometimes when it comes to coloring, but it is much smoother. Ooh, a pale yellow for the windows. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to go over this and try to like give it a little bit more of a smooth look because <laughs> it was a little, a little rough there. Lots of streaky bits. All right, that should help. Crafters are awesome. Hey, Molly, how's it going? Oh no, baking. Well, that's cool, but not being exhausted. That's not cool. <laughs> Well, I hope that I can give you some crafty relief. <laughs> I'm going to take a drink really quick. It is like kind of boiling hot in here. It was like 99 degrees here today. Um, okay. So, um, have I used the board by Brutus Monroe? What board? Which board? Are you talking about the one for the, um, are you talking about the one for the foam pads? Um, we are moved. I'm in my new craft room. However, I don't have most of my supplies. So it's been a little bit uh, crazy trying to see what we can get away with crafting tonight. <laughs> and my lighting is really bad. I've got like a, like a desk lamp and then an ot light and that's it. I don't have a ceiling light at all. Um, so sorry about the weird lighting. <laughs> um, okay. So we've got here. What I'm trying to figure out is what I want to do. I want to keep that kind of that color going. So I'm going to make the little flag that same coral sort of color, but I'm going to add in just a little bit of a darker color there. And again, I don't care if I'm going out of the line, that's okay. Um, and then up here, we want this to be um, yellow, I guess. I'm wondering, I have this chow marker. Oh, that's way more dull than I wanted it to be. Eh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe we would try that, but it's like way more, um, it's way more dull than I thought. Okay, so let's try, why are, okay, let's start here. And I'm going to color right over this because I am going to take creative license and say that this is a just a fence or balcony or whatever. So I'm, I'm taking creative license. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what I'm going with. All right, so in the middle here, I'm going to add like a little bit of a darker color. So that one was YR23. And then I think I wanna use YR27 too. Now this is gonna be quite a bit darker, but that is okay. I'm just gonna go right over top. And I want it to be streaky. I don't want it to be like a specific shape. I just kinda of wanna add like a variation of color so that you get that fun <clears throat> light. You know, because like usually the lights are moving around. I don't know. <laughs> uh, hi, Dawn. Um, hello, Gyps. How's it going? My little thing has just been saying that there's eight people watching this video. And I'm wondering if that's... What is... Does your guys say eight? Because it's been eight the entire time. But it's I'm just watching on my iPad. So I'm not sure... If that's the same, like if it's been eight and we've been like losing people and gaining people. Oh, 26. Oh, <laughs> I was like, um, I just have been saying eight the whole time, but like more people keep coming. And then we, <laughs> I'm like, that would be really weird if we just kept a constant cycle of eight the whole time. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little better at least. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and not that one. Let's use, where did my little E00 go? Here says 24. Okay. Well, it must just be my iPad's not updating. Um, that's kind of weird. Oh, well. 
I love that you guys are here too. I know that you guys are all excited to see each other and everything, but I mean, I'm really excited to see you. <laughs> um, it's kind of cool that this E00 works so well with the pink colors. We can compare who has the most Home Depot boxes. <laughs> um, debatable. I mean, I kind of have a lot. <laughs> Not just from moving, but um, from doing all of our little renovation projects. So we finally have uh, flooring in our dining room and our living room. Woo! <laughs> um, what about something glittery on the yellow? Funny you should mention that. I actually have just the thing. All right, I have two choices, actually. And I think I might actually want to go with this one. I was going to use my clear. This is from Spectrum Noir. This is like the clear um, overlay sparkle pen thingamajig. And then I have this one, which is from Nuvo, and it's called Aqua Shimmer, but it's called Midas Touch. That's the color. It's gold. So this one is, it actually has gold glitter in it. So I think I'm actually going to go with this one because it'll give us that little bit of extra glow and sparkle whereas the clear one will give us the sparkle but it won't help in like um uh, I don't know intensify the color I guess is what I'm trying to say <laughs> um don't let me talk to people okay um not much is chilling watching Jess coloring with your iPad that's so cool I love it when you guys craft alongside. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm actually gonna pop that in. There we go. Okay, this is not at all a traditional color scheme for a lighthouse, I'm sure. And my husband will probably be like, what in the world were you doing? But that's okay. I'm gonna use my little paint pen to clean up some of my little areas here where I did go out of the lines. Um, I'm not too worried about it because I am going to cut this out and then I can just tuck them up then as well. But it does make it easier when you can just go right around and touch up those edges. Now, I really don't care if I cut the lines, to be honest, because I usually can fix it like this. But if you were doing scene building where you were doing the whole thing as a scene, you wouldn't be able to do this because it would mess up your scene. <laughs> But when you're going to cut it out and just, you know, do whatever, it's fine. Um, the paper I'm using is actually from the uh, box from Pink and Main. It's called Ice Rink, and it's 110 pound. I didn't want to use it because I wanted to hoard it, let's be honest. Um, but I decided, and by decided, I mean I didn't have any other paper, so I had to... Um, I don't know where my paper is. <laughs> it's packed somewhere, which is the worst. Um, these are not the best scissors for fussy cutting. And part of it, it, it may not be the scissors fault. <laughs> it may be that I used them. Um, uh, I used them to cut things I shouldn't have, like metal. And they've gotten kind of not super sharp so they're like really dull and um, like kind of ridgy they don't cut super well they're not as sharp as they should be this um dawn i it's actually patterned paper <laughs> i took it from the paper pack from the pink and main box so see we've got the pinky one there and then the blue one is here and we just i cut it i just use a pair of scissors and cut it um yeah they're kind of jagged yeah i don't know it's weird Oh well, but it's what I have to work with. <laughs> so we're gonna have to live with it. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe how hot it is in here. It's like nine o'clock at night and it is really hot. Like you would think that it would, I mean, it's not like I have the windows open or anything. The windows are definitely closed and the air conditioning is definitely on. I keep feeling like I'm seeing a light flickering. Is a light flickering? Oh no, you're frozen. Oh no. Hold on. Apparently, sorry, apparently my battery is dying. So we gotta hurry up and make a card because I don't have room to plug my phone in. I don't think I can 
I don't think I can reach the extension cord. Although I may try if it looks like we're not going to finish soon. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so um, while I'm cutting, I will tell you, so I've got some videos that just recently came out if you haven't checked them out yet. So I just did the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop and I made a watercolor card using Altenew stamps and then Tombow dual brush markers. So if you haven't checked that out yet, I would definitely go over there and check it out. If you like to do video hops, um, it is a massive video hop that I am participating in and there are lots of prizes to win. So if you want to win some prizes, you can go and comment on the videos. Every comment that you leave, well, every time, like one, only one per video, but each video that you comment on, you get entered to win a prize. Um, you don't have to comment on anyone's video. You don't have to watch anyone's video, but if you want to win some prizes, the more videos you comment on, the more chances you have to win. Um, so there's that. So there's the Save the Crafty YouTuber one, which I really liked the card that I made for that one. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, and then I did an unboxing of this card kit. I am not sure. Um, oh my gosh, you've watched 43 videos? Lord have mercy. Oh, thanks, Amanda. <laughs> um, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> look how cute that's gonna look you guys <laughs> I love that okay I'm really excited about this <laughs> I mean I thought I was gonna like it but that is so cute um okay so I did I did do that one and then I did um let's see oh my gosh you're almost through too I haven't had time to watch any of the videos Amanda I need to watch yours I need to watch like Marie's. I mean, I, I know her card looks like because <laughs> I saw it like a long time ago, but I don't know. I just think there's so many talented people and I need to watch like all the videos. All right. So I think I like, hmm, I sure do think you're amazing. Isn't Marie's so good? It's gorgeous. Um, I love you. Maybe this one. I love you like the sea loves the shore. We could do it in the sky or we could do it in the sand. What do you guys think? And then depending on what we choose, I kind of like the sky just because it brings your eye up a little bit. However, I kind of like this being by itself up there. Hmm. You guys tell me what you think. Do you think you like it better up in the sky or down in the sand? And then we will choose, you vote for the sand. I think I kind of like the sand. I mean, I like them both. I like everything. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> um, what are the other options? Oh, of the sentiments? There's also celebrate each day and I sure do think you're amazing. Um, okay, so lots of people what color for the flag? It is um, R22, R35, and R20. Sand, but something in the sky. Okay, so one thing that I wanted to try, which I think I'm going to do, is I'm going to stamp this, and then um, there's no seagulls. No. <laughs> I wish that there were. That'd be really cute. Um, yeah, there's no birds. I could try to use a different stamp set, but I kind of wanted to only use what was in the kit. Because um, you got, you know, that's always fun. <laughs> All right, I'm actually just going to stamp this in black. Normally, I think I might try to stamp it in like a brown or something. But I'm going to stamp it in black because I'm also going to add a little bit of detail into the sand. And I don't want it to get lost. Um, I want that sentiment to really still stand out. Look how good that stamped, you guys. I know sometimes with sentiment stamps, you have to stamp it a bunch of times to get a good impression. Um, that is really good. And I have not conditioned these stamps at all. This is literally the first time, whoa, first time I've used it. Like, how stinking cute is that? 
so cute. Um, dye, the white paper that I'm using currently is called Ice Rink. Oh, my hair. Um, it's called Ice Rink and it's from Pink and Main. It came in this card kit. Um, but normally I honestly just use paper from Staples because I'm cheap <laughs> and I end up hoarding all of my good paper. <laughs> um, so I just usually use the 110 pound cardstock from Staples. Um, you could do the old, yeah, the upside down V. I could try it. Maybe I'll just make them in blue so that they don't stand up, stand out too much. I'll try it. You guys are making me nervous. All right, I do need to trim this down a little bit because I left a little bit on the edge there. And I'm hoping that I don't trim off too much. All right, so for, oh, well, I needed to trim it anyway because apparently I never did that. So here we go. <laughs> so there is four. I don't even have a trash can, you guys. I was just about to um, throw it away and I don't even have a trash can. All right, I'm gonna do just a little bit off the bottom. And then, hi, my name is Vey and I hoard paper. <laughs> I love you guys so much. You guys all make me so happy. All right, I like that little bit of white at the top, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to get rid of it. I think it looks cute. Let's see if I can get this paper off my stuff though. Yeah, I like that it fades into the white. I think that's really cute. Okay, so we also have over here, oh, I am hot, 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 hot. All right, we've got our card base. Wow, this is heavy duty cardstock, y'all. <laughs> it's so heavy duty. Oh, like that's hard to fold. Um... Setting up the replacement phone. Oh no. <laughs> Good luck, Chips. <laughs> okay, so we've got, oh, this is so cute. I think I'm gonna pop this little bit up on foam in a minute. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, okay, this is gonna be the cutest little card ever. I really like this. Okay, <gasps> you know what? Hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, yours shows five. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that because mine still just says eight. <laughs> it's been eight the entire time. I bet if I went out and then came back in, it would change, but I'm not bothering. Oh, well. Okay, so check this out. Look how cute this is. I'm totally putting this on the bottom here. That's so cute. I can put two. Maybe I'll put two. All right, so what I'm going to do, yours says 27. Ugh, well. All right, I'm actually just gonna trim off this little bottom bit here. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. <laughs> you totally don't have to. Yeah, my count is just off. I don't know if it's just because I'm on my iPad or what. Um, I don't know that I've ever really, I've, I don't think, except for when I very first started going live, I never did, um, I never did use my iPad for the comments. Use, uh, maybe I said use what you have and tonight you prove very little supplies are needed. That is so true. Um, it's sometimes it's really easy to get in this feeling like we have to have all the things. Like I need this and I need this latest, latest craft tool and I need all the stamp sets and I need whatever, but you really don't. And I know it's fun to buy them, so if you want to buy them and that makes you happy, then that's totally fine. But if you don't want to buy them and you just feel like you have to keep up with everyone, um, I think it's totally okay to not do that. <laughs> totally okay. All right, I wish I had one more. Oh, I kind of do, but it's. I think it's going to look a little crowded. I do have one more, but... I know, isn't, I think I'm only gonna use one, actually. I was gonna use three, but I just think it'll be a little too busy. <laughs> um, so we'll just go ahead and, I think maybe I'll put it like over here. I don't know. Mm, layer them, maybe. The only thing is that they're kind of dimensional. So like, they're curved. Look at me dumping sequins everywhere. 
they are curved. Um, yeah, I could. Um, they look kind of funny. Maybe if I put a piece of like um, foam tape underneath there or something. There's even some little seed beads in here, you guys, that I never even noticed when I was doing my little unboxing. I never noticed that those little beads were in there. They're so tiny. Look at that. That is itty bitty. They're so cute. This is the perfect little shaker mix. How cute is that? And the colors are so perfect for this theme. Okay. I don't feel like we get enough neutral colors, to be honest. So this was really a welcome thing. Okay, so I like that down at the bottom. So we'll go with that. And then, um, okay, let me practice some little, um, let's see what color would I want to use. Like B41. Yeah, maybe B41. All right, so like I feel like, oh, not that one. Um, I feel like that's going to look weird. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I could try with something that was not as thick of a marker. I don't really have any pens that wouldn't be like black. <laughs> um, I'm really worried about ruining it, you guys. I could probably do gray. Gray might not look weird. Like maybe, maybe like a W5 and test on the plastic. Um, normally I would say yes, because usually I do keep a little piece of plastic for ink smushing on my desk. Um, but currently I don't know where that is. <laughs> Um, oh, that's okay. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Um, Di, I'm not sure. I've answered your question a couple times, so I'm not sure if it's just coming through multiple times or what. I'm not sure. Um, hey, Sandy. Nice marker carousel. Oh, so you can get it on Amazon. So if you, here, I'll put in, um, oh, Lord, here we go. Um, you just do exclamation point Amazon like this um, and then it should pop you up a little link to my Amazon page where you can find all of my little recommendations and if you go to the little list that says crafty supplies or something like that it'll be on there it's a clear plastic spinning um, it's like on a lazy Susan it's really cool I like it a lot <laughs> I need to make that card for my sister's birthday. That's so cool. I hope you do. If you do, you should totally tag me on Instagram at a card day's work so I can see what you made. <laughs> I really, really like this one. This is really cute. I think I'm actually gonna add some little bit of, yeah, no problem. Um, I'll add a little bit of a kind of shadow thing so it looks like the, um, the it doesn't look so weird that it's just kind of sitting on top. <laughs> oh my gosh, thanks, Amanda. <laughs> Um, that's awesome. I really like that thing. It's, uh, it's over there. I can't reach it right now or else I would get it out. But, um, I think that that's like one of my favorite crafty investments, that bead holder. Um, okay. I'm nervous. You guys, I'm nervous to add anything to the top. I want to, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, because it looks so cute, but I agree that it needs something. Uh, um, all right. You like it the way it is? I'm just nerd. I'm, I'm not good at that. I'm really not good at drawing. <laughs> um, behind the lighthouse. I mean, I think they're kind of cool, but like, see, then I would want to do like, you know, varying sizes or something like that would anyone even be able to tell what those were supposed to be like if I did it right here there's a visual line from the bottom left to the upper right am I um hold on I'm frozen oh my battery's only at 10% you guys sorry <laughs> um it was my low battery warning okay so I think we're gonna have we might have to leave it because I don't have enough time before my phone is about to die. 
So what I'm going to do, mental note of where at least this stuff is. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and pop this up on some foam. Woo! Ugh. Um, at least so I can get this part done so we have a mostly finished card. <laughs> Um, I think I caught it fairly quickly. Um, I uh, hopefully, I think I noticed it pretty quick that it was um, starting to go frozen. It whenever it comes up with a low battery notification, for some reason it um, it like freezes and does. I don't know why it does that. I think that's kind of silly. Oh yeah, I forgot that I wanted to add. Um, hold on, I forgot that I wanted to add uh, details to the sand. Oh yeah, that's true. I could. Um, maybe I'll experiment with it if I can find some clear plastic. Because I, I know that I have some, but I don't know where it is. Usually I keep it on my desk. Since I moved, of course, all my stuff is kind of all over the place. And I'm not used to really having nails, so it's really hard for me to grab this. Ah! Normally, I do pretty well with my little foam tape getting it off, but I'm struggling tonight. It's because I know the low battery warning is on. I feel the pressure, y'all. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, I try, I need to update it because there's probably some stuff I could add over there on Amazon for like my top picks and whatever. Um, but I just try to add in stuff that I have found useful um, because I know that people are always looking for, you know, different ways to store things. And um, I like to share what I have found that works. And I do have things that I recommend for like crafty setup as well. Um, you know, like I think I have my selfie stick on there that I use to um, attach to my tripod. If not, I need to add that. But I try to keep it updated with, you know, like the setup that I'm using because a lot of people do ask questions about the setup and how we film videos and things like that. Good Lord. Um, okay, Gyps, normally I do. No, normally I do plug in before I go live. However, um, I am not close to a charger or like a wall outlet. And my, my craft room is like a hot mess. I, can't, I had to like drag things all over the room in order to even get to where I am right now. <laughs> um, so it's been a little bit trying of an experience. Okay, so honestly, this would be a cute card. Like literally that would be super cute. So if you don't wanna do all the coloring um, and you don't wanna do the fussy cutting, you could just use the paper, pop it up on some foam and stamp your sentiment and you're good. <laughs> that would be a super cute card, if I'm being totally honest. I think I like that. Oh, good night, Dawn. <laughs> Have a great night. All right, I'm gonna pop that on right there. I'm like trying to speed so that I don't like have my phone die right in the middle. Uh, that would be no good at all. All right, let's pop that down. All right, and then I at least want to show you the sand. Um, oh, thanks, Jibs. Um, Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the sand is I'm gonna take, um, maybe not quite that dark yet. <laughs> let's take, uh, this one and I'm just gonna do like a bunch of dots and I'm gonna go with a lighter color down here but then what I'll do is I'm gonna add like just a couple of bigger dots and then I'm gonna go back with the smaller dots add some more and then I need to find kind of like a mid-tone color um, let's see, E00, and that's E34. Let's try maybe like E21. Yeah. Um, literally like nothing fancy. You just blop it on there. <laughs> um, I'm not doing anything crazy. You just test out colors beforehand so that you don't get anything that's like too contrasting. Um, but I think that that works pretty nicely. Let's see. This one is called Light Tea Rose. Now I am going with more kind of like pinky tan colors because that is the color of our, um, 
that's the color of our paper. <laughs> so I'm going with kind of like an odd color combination, but I think it works for this. Um, and then I'm pulling in just a little bit of brown because um, I think that helps. Now this is just patterned paper. It's not like cardstock, so it does um, it does affect the uh, the paper a little bit differently. It doesn't. It kind of like uh, bleeds just a little bit more, um, but that's totally okay. Totally fine. And then I can do the same thing to the bottom, but I will probably like kind of fade it out a little bit. Um, around my sentiment so that it's not too dark and I also do I don't want it to um, like I don't want to lose this little line here so I will probably go right back over that here in a second with um, some of the darker colors to kind of bring that back in all right so let's do I'm gonna kinda do like a, I'm just following the line that was there before. I don't want it to be perfect. I don't want it to be anything like super defined necessarily. I just wanna like re-accent that line and kinda blur it out. I don't want it to look like a stark line. <laughs> Hopefully I'm making sense and I don't sound like a crazy person. Sometimes I wonder <laughs> if you guys can even like really understand what I'm trying to explain. Hopefully you can. Um, okay, cool. So I don't want to lose you guys, but I'm um, just wanting to add like a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Woo! I think that adds a bit to the card. It's a little less simple. You could certainly leave it the other way and that would be fine. Um, but, you know... I think it helps. I think it looks cool. <laughs> um, I like it. I like it a lot. Yay! Oh, the non-traditional lighthouse colors. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, look, it's good timing anyway. Christopher just went live. I'm going to leave this as is for now. I will finish it up. I'm going to put this here. Um, I'm going to finish it up, charge my phone up, and then I will definitely share the finished product with you guys um, on social media once it's done. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love you all so, so much. And I know that this was kind of a hot mess of a video, but I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and hanging out till the end. I will see you guys again on Monday. Um, oh yeah, the sand embossing powder. I do have that. That's really cool. I will, I will, um, the sand castle. I'll definitely use that. Um, all right. Well, I will see you guys later. I'll see you on Monday at the latest and hopefully I will have more of my craft room set up. <laughs> all right. Mwah. Love you guys so much. I will see you.